Let's Let me ask you. So if, if the Red Hot Chili Peppers are releasing an album this year, after a decade-long absence, John Frusciante is, is rejoining them. Do you think that they're going to be able to create magic like that? Or do you think they're going to be like that hyper-focused and it's going to end up not being a good album because, you know, maybe that magic isn't there? What do you, what do you think? Because you, you saw them at Lollapalooza, right? I have seen the Chili Peppers five times. That's my favorite band. So are you are you hyped for the for him to come back into the band or are you do you have a little bit of reservation? I screamed out loud. People thought something happened when I looked at my phone that day. I had just gone to there's a, there this was before the pandemic, I think, just before it, um, or maybe during. I don't know. I can't remember. But somehow there was Smorgasburg was still happening, which is like this like food truck festival in the fashion district in LA that I used to go to to get this awesome pastrami. <laughs> I remember, I remember exactly where I was when I heard the news that John Frusciante was back, was back in the Chili Peppers. Is my point that combo? You know, obviously Hillel Slovak was was the original, you know, guitarist, and and uh, John Frusciante takes a lot after his sound, also after Hendrix and a lot of a lot of guitarists who influenced him. But that, and you know, in my opinion, and the music of theirs that means a lot to me, that lineup. Uh, you know, Frusciante, Chad Smith, Lee, and, and Anthony Kiedis. That they've already talked about how really they're just they're just trying to love the process right now of making music. I I I can't imagine what it's like to be making music. What like you know, releasing records once you're already in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and you know, like I I, I don't know where you find you know the hunger or or if there's anybody you know saying that you still have anything to prove or anything like that. You know, I I just I wonder what that's like that must be challenging um or maybe not maybe it's just nice um i don't know what it's like to make music with millions of dollars and world fame you know behind you but i think they're just i don't think it's probably changed their process much from how they always do it i don't know if i've ever heard them like chasing even with the last like last couple records i didn't love but you know i just i never heard heard them like phoning it in like trying to make a a hit or update themselves for like the kids or something like that. You know, I, I don't ever really get that, but I think, I feel like they always kind of just do what they want. I think there is maybe something about the like youth and ego and chaos, you know, of like when maybe, maybe back when, when they were a little more dysfunctional, you know, some, some crazy or ideas like happened or it felt more like capturing lightning in a bottle. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. Either way, uh, you know the the single the single was was all right. I was just happy to hear. I was just happy to hear those four, you know, playing together again. 